of eating. The side you don't see, the washing up. The side that Sayers normally does, but I'm now having to do. Because someone's all about equal rights and sexual gender equality. I'm in the toilet, no biggie. Um, I'm in the gym, I realised I hadn't filmed the intro to my video, and so I thought the best thing to do would be to come up to the toilet, drink some chocolate milk, and vlog. Because let's face it, who doesn't like to drink chocolate milk in a place that smells really, really strongly of urine? Um, I'm all ready to go, I'm kitting out. I'm in the gym as we speak, in my shoes and sleeves. Uh, this machine top is a large, I've had a lot of people asking what size I wear. I'm just under six foot two, I weigh like 100 kilos, which is like 220 pounds, and I wear a large. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get out of the toilet now because I feel like a bit of a weirdo. I've never filmed in a toilet I don't think before, and I'd rather not do it again, so let's just pretend this never happened. I've got some squats and deadlifts to do, so I'll go and do those, and then I'll catch up with you post-session. I'm finished and that was pretty crap if you were um, given squirrels for how good your session was I'd probably have like two squirrels maybe three squirrels max it wasn't very good um, squats just felt a little bit kind of I don't know a little bit kind of rusty and out of sync and then deadlifts were just slow the bar was just not moving um, but that's alright, I mean I said at the start, I'm not feeling great the last few days, I'm still kind of getting back into things after Morocco so I'm not too fussed and because I hit the 6 plate squat and the 600 pound deadlift recently, I don't really care, I'm happy just to get the work in and then get the, re the reward of that at the end of the cycle. If you haven't watched the squat and the deadlift by the way, go and watch them now, you little weasel. Um, then I did some back and biceps which felt good because I haven't done any bodybuilding back and biceps for like 10 days so it was quite a nice feeling. Now I'm going to go home, I've got some protein here, 30 grams of chocolate smooth whey, which I've almost finished by the way, so when I move that I'm going to move on to my chocolate brownie, which I'm excited about. Um, so I'll have that drive home, and assuming I don't die on the way, I'll see you there. Right, just got home, um, I am not particularly hungry, probably won't eat for like another hour, but I need the cows, uh, so I'll grab something in a second. Uh, this is what we're going to have, I think, for dinner, this is like pork. Had it yesterday, it's like a big joint, so what I think we'll do, it's already cooked obviously, so I think we're going to kind of shred it up and, I don't know, have some kind of pulled pork type combination, probably with, uh, in there somewhere, some barbecue sauce involved, because uh, barbecue pulled pork is pretty much the greatest thing in the world. Um, for now though, to keep me going, I will have... Uh, la, 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 la. I'll have some orange juice because it's nice, <coughs> uh, I want the calories, and I'm only consuming orange things this month, I'm doing like National Orange Month, so obviously that ties in with that nicely, and then um, I will have, in terms of a solid food item to go with that, uh, I'll probably grab some of these, I'll have 
some cashews, maybe like a uh, hundred grams, like a quarter of a bag, about that much, which is a decent amount of calories. What is it like 550 calories? Pretty solid, and then if I feel like something sweet, put this little bad boy in here, aka the candy zone. I hate the word candy, um, and I probably have a few giant buns, which, as I discussed in my evening of eating with pancakes. Definitely is some miscommunication there because what the hell was that? What the hell is that? Right, when Sears gets home, she'll be hearing from me. That is not buttons. She seems to have replaced the buttons with the snowman that I punched. That is unacceptable. Snack time is over, dinner time is upon us. So this is what we're gonna have. Uh, explained earlier, but this is the concrete uh, finite thing. So I'm gonna shred that in a minute. That is the pork. We're gonna have some baguettes. Uh, so like pulled pork, barbecue pork in the baguettes. Then to go with it, we're gonna have in the back there some. Oh my god! This is gonna go everywhere. Um, some beans. So I'll hand the camera to my. Whoa, crap! To my camerawoman, and then I'm gonna give you a demonstration of how you shred pork. <laughs> right. Would I, would I just like rip it apart? Do you think? Well, this is the rubbish demonstration. Well, I know. I want to make sure that you know how to do it. That's the important thing here, isn't it? So, like that. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? That's definitely, yeah. This is, this is probably too easy for me to do, to be honest. I need to make it more difficult for myself. I might use, like... Spoons. Yeah. A ladle. Too much. This is a disaster. What the hell? Just be less aggressive. Be less aggressive. Right, I'll come back to you in like three hours when I've done it. <sighs> That's the most annoying thing anyone can ever do. Um, that is root beer, aka the greatest drink in the world, and this is my meal, aka a pretty good meal. Um, so. That's the pulled pork. I did pull it eventually. I, was, I think I was going in too hard. I kind of eased off a bit and it worked better. We've covered it in like barbecue sauce, ketchup, uh, paprika. Yeah. Paprika. What else? Cumin. No. Nope. Avocado seed. No. Nope. And other stuff. And then we mix it all up and then we've got beans, uh, leek. That's a bit of dough from our potatoes. I've got some more beans uh, because when the camera stops rolling, I'm just going to smear those on my face um, and then run around ringing on random people's doors and screaming at their children. Uh, we're also joined by <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Dave uh, says that isn't his real name, says his dad. There's a bit of banter. They've both eaten because I like my food colder and I'll be honest, we were making a good thumbnail so I couldn't eat in that time. But I'm really hungry Your now. Guy. What? I couldn't eat either because... Oh, give it a rest. Um, <laughs> I'm going to eat now because I'm hungry and I'm uh, quite hot so I'm going to take my uh, trousers off so I'll catch up with you when I've eaten and we're moving on to some dessert. Oh my god, I'm so full up. I ate loads. I, I, my eating capacity recently has got way better. Like You know, obviously in previous videos I've like really struggled and I've started feeling sick really quickly during meals which was like a legacy of the intense bulk I did in the run up to the British Champs. Uh, last year, but I suddenly I kind of finally the last like three, two to three weeks I've started to get over that, and now I'm starting to eat a decent amount and not getting full. And if I do get a full, I don't feel sick. That's the difference. I can handle being full up, but obviously when you feel sick, that's kind of game over. Anyway, um, I'm reclining and relaxing on our new sofa. <whistles> Sexy. If I was a sofa, I'd be all over, be smooching the crap out of this bad boy. Um, I am currently eating a uh, Snickers, or as I pronounce, a Snickers, a Snickers, uh, an ice cream one, which I'll be honest, I mean, it does look pretty good, but I think I actually prefer regular Snickers to ice cream Snickers. Says, what do you think of my opinion on ice cream Snickers? I don't know. What was the thing? <laughs> Awkward. Um, yeah, I, just, I think like, I think they're overrated, quite frankly. I think that ice cream Snickers get a pretty they're kind of held in high regard and they're okay, but I'd say you're looking at a 7 out of 10 at best in my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to finish finish this. I still haven't showered yet, so that needs to happen at some point soon. Um, and then I'll see you around. Let's 
right. The dark side of eating. The side you don't see, the washing up. The side that Sayers normally does, but I'm now having to do. Because someone's all about equal rights and sexual gender equality. Give it a rest, Grandad. Um, so I am, yeah, doing the washing up. This is um, what I'd ordinarily wear um, for bar mitzvahs and <coughs> just, you know, religious festivals generally. <laughs> but I thought as you guys were here, I'd make an exception and wear it for my washing up. Um, it's quite late now. I am pretty tired. I still haven't showered yet because I am a dirty hobo. Um, I'm going to grab my protein in a minute. I'll have some more chocolate smooth whey, like 30... I'm not even playing, I'm, I'm doing it, I cannot multitask, so I have no idea what I've even done for the last minute. Have you even put that in? Shut up! I'm gonna <laughs> have a 30 grams of chocolate smooth whey with whole milk um, and creatine, 5 grams of creatine, I have that every single day, and then I'll go and have a shower and then I'll go to bed. So with that, I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did enjoy it, if you like this, if you like this, woo, then uh, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you, that's disgusting, that had some dirty food on it, <laughs> tomorrow.